my name. DeAndre. 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 The one and only. You know, when they see me, they know that every day when I'm breathing, it's for us to go farther. You know, every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. Just when you thought that people couldn't get any stupider, and just when you thought that people's lust for clout wasn't at an all-time high the way that it is, you have these two idiots, Quan Hines and his girlfriend, Asia, are facing major backlash on social media after posting a clip showing themselves licking a tub of Blue Bunny ice cream at you know a grocery store and putting it back in the freezer now you know before i you know kind of show you the video there is this this stupid and dangerous trend that is apparently trying to make a comeback which is what this couple was just trying to do right i mean this was pre-pandemic shit here here, the, here it is back again in full effect take a look Wait, man, here you go. get ice cream Let me taste it, let me taste it. All right, Ariel, put it back. Ariel, put it back. Come on, let's run, let's run. <laughs> As I was saying before, you know, back in 2019, grocery stores, you know, really did did see a, a crazy amount of incidents where customers would come in, lick tubs of ice cream, put them back on the shelves in the freezer, and it was just ridiculous. I mean, there was a situation in March of 2020 where the Adrian Anderson was sentenced to 30 days in jail for running his tongue over a tub of Blue Bell ice cream, Texas Walmart. He was given about 180 days probation over two years, and he was ordered to pay a fine. He was ordered to pay about a thousand dollar fine, close to about sixteen hundred dollars in restitution to Blue Bell Creameries. So the video that they, you know, posted on their, I guess, TikTok page or whatever, you know, it has been deleted, but people obviously have screen recorded the fuck out of it. And it's made its rounds online. It's been pretty viral over the past few days. Thanks to the fact that their tags are being plastered all over the video. You know, a lot of people were, could quickly find their accounts, which is what I'm sure these two goofballs wanted. It's just getting them more attention and more comments and views and things like that, which is what they ultimately wanted. Now, it is important to say that licking ice cream and putting it back in the freezer is a felony in the state of virginia which is where i believe these two are from and they recorded it so now it's out there forever and apparently it's a class three felony <clears throat> so a lot of people are just you know really throwing rocks and tomatoes on stage at them and really just letting them have it in the comment sections wherever they could wherever they can post them and, and rightfully so, they should be clowned. You know, they have since obviously seen all of this backlash online about them. And, you know, they've posted about it, made it look like it was one big joke. Now, to be fair, they did post a video pretty much kind of addressing all of this. And, you know, they said that they did actually buy the ice cream that they licked and put back, right? They just did it after they turned the camera off. I'll let you take a look at it. <laughs> All right, let me show y'all, bro. This is the ice cream. This is the ice cream that y'all say we lit and put back on the shelf. It was our ice cream. It was already paid for. This is our ice cream. I'm showing this video because people really want the video. We did not do nothing nasty like that. Me and Asia's not nasty people, bro. Be real. Stop being stupid. Stop being goofy. You know what I mean? This is the ice cream, bro. We did not lick no ice cream and put it back. No, this is ours. It's already bought. This is the same one in the video. We've been eating on it all week with brownies and cookies and milk. We did that to fool y'all was a prank. And we fooled y'all, bro. Like, tighten up, man. And we're not going to jail. We already talked to the police. Ah, so the old get mad at the people in the comments because you did some fuck shit. So you clearly saw the video. He was pretty much saying that, you know, they faked the entire thing. Pretty much what he left out was that they faked the entire thing for views and for clout. All right, which is even more stupid than the original reason. Like, just be straight up about it. You did it because... You knew it was going to get people talking. You knew it was going to be something that people were going to be upset about. You knew that it was going to get views. You knew that 
it was something you could do to get you your guys's platform out there and i love how you know he's calling us goofy or people you know that are upset about this like he's coming at us because they're not even just him they are both in the wrong like how does that even work so because you two idiots decided to go into a, a, a grocery store lick ice cream put it make it seem as if you were you know, taking it off the shelf, licking it and putting it back, that makes us goofy? Yeah, that doesn't make any fucking sense, bro. It's insane, man. It, it, he did mention at the end of the video that they were, that they already spoke to the police about this because there has been a police investigation in regards to this because the video went so viral. So obviously the Virginia State Police got involved. They obviously did an investigation. Once they did their investigation, they did see that they actually did purchase the ice cream. So they literally went into a store and did this whole stunt, all this pomp and circumstance for nothing, just for views and some clout. And the views and clout that you did get was not what you thought it was going to be. So now you're upset at the people that are calling you out. That makes a whole lot of fucking sense, dude. And, you know, the people that were calling them out, you know, obviously have a point, right? Like several other people before these two dummies, you know, pulled similar stunts in the past. We've seen it happen before. And they were met with like actual legal consequences, like whether it be fines, jail time, you know, probationary time. Like that's real stuff that's going to actually be recorded on your record. Like that's not a joke. Every single day. I see people do dumber and dumber stuff for clicks and views. It's stupid. And from what I've seen in the video, you know, they have a child. What are you teaching your kids when you do stupid stuff like this? It's kind of unclear right now if, you know, these two are going to face any kind of consequences. I mean, it, I don't really foresee them doing it. I mean, obviously, if they already paid for the ice cream and there wasn't any real damage done, well, then obviously there's probably not nothing going to happen. But they wanted attention and they got it. It's just not the attention that they thought it was going to be. So this is just one of the latest social media tirades to kind of go viral. It's not going to be the last. You know, I just wanted to kind of throw that out there because it has been out there for a while. I just didn't really get a chance to really speak on it yet. Yeah, man, let me know what you think about this, man. I'm really sick and tired of seeing this stupid ass stunt. They really should have left this kind of stuff back in 2019 because it was even stupid then. But anyway, let me know what you thought about this down below in the comments, man. Stay lit. Believe in God, believe in yourself. Everything else will work out for itself, man. Peace.